Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix GTA 5 error code 1005. Alright, first thing you need to do here is to go to your search bar and type in Defender. And once a virus and threat protection pops up, just go ahead and click on it. And this window will open. So what we're going to do here is just locate virus and threat protection right here. And click on manage settings. Now once you're in here, just go ahead and scroll down a bit until you see the option exclusions. And just simply click on add or remove exclusions there'll be a pop-up just click on yes all right as you can see here i have already added the uh, program files x86 rockstar games folder as i have already fixed this issue so basically what you're going to want to do is just click on add an exclusion and go ahead and just select a folder all right so what we're going to do next is just go ahead and uh, head over to your this pc then go to c program files and then hit on rockstar games click on rockstar games right here and select folder and then add this one which is the x86 version for the rockstar games add an exclusion folder again go to your c drive and then go to program files x86 and then locate rockstar games again click on it and then simply hit on select folder all right once done this folder will be added and add another one which is the games directory all right well the majority of uh, people that are having this problem are those who uh well let's say that cracked the game all right so what we're gonna do is just locate the game directory all right for example here you should be able to see uh your games directory right here for example this one is gta 5 just go ahead and click on it and hit on select folder so just to give you an example well, I have bought the game from Steam, so I'm going to be able to see it from Steam, Steam apps, common, and uh, here, Grand Theft Auto 5. So I'm just going to hit on select folder. All right. As you can see here, remember to add these three folders. Once done, don't launch the game yet. Just go ahead and go to firewall and network protection right here. Click on it. All right. And simply hit on allow an app through firewall. Click on it. And this window will pop up. Simply click on change settings right here at the top and then go to the bottom and click on allow another app. All right. There will be a window. Again, go ahead and hit on browse. In here, you're going to want to look for the Rockstar Games Launcher. So basically, you'll find that on C, Program Files, not 86. All right. Again, Program Files. Scroll down a bit until you see Rockstar Games. All right. Double click on it. Go to launcher and simply select the launcher right here. All right, then hit on open. As you can see here, the Rockstar Games launcher is added. So just go ahead and click on add to make it in the list. And so in here, we're going to want to make sure that both private and public are both ticked. All right, tick. Once done, hit OK. Close this one. Launch the game again and you're good to go. And that is it. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.